What's up guys, we are here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are going to talk about the Gamma Raids, what they have, so as it seems the Gamma Raids are going to have some new updates, we were doing uh, do, uh, Gamma 4.3 and now we have 4.4 and 4.5 and the rewards, the rewards are juicy, damn, so not only you have first time clear, but you also have increase on the payout of each of each of uh, the right here so you can see right here that uh, we are even going to get till elite, till elite orbs this is the ones that you can obtain from uh, the doom raids and the ones that give you gear tier 17 so that's a big big improvement on what we had before you can see the rewards from the past you will get one orange orb now if you do difficulty 4 you are getting double of the orange orbs and if you do difficulty 5 you are getting gear tier 17 which i just find huge in terms of the gold payout you are also going to almost double it's like 40 percent more which is huge as well and uh, overall this is amazing i just do not understand why scopely does not communicate these why don't they have a roadmap why don't they have something like this and uh, even a few days ago we had like three days ago a blog post where nothing was mentioned we had a patch a few days ago as well nothing was mentioned it's just so ridiculous something that uh, could make the community hyped about it and uh, start thinking about which teams you are going to use nothing about it so why did you mention what teams we should start talking about because look at these look at these stats so what we were doing in the past 250% max health 600% uh, more damage 150% more armor 250% focus 800% resistance look how much it uh, increased Oh my god, three times, three times more health, the, the damage is not exactly three times as well, but it's almost there, then the, the armor, uh, another big chunk, three times as well, like everything tripled, and uh, this is gonna be like super, super hard, I'm gonna be honest, like difficulty five should be super, super hard, and maybe you don't remember how hard it was, the gamma raids back in the day, but uh, it was like you had to one shot the enemy super super fast or the enemies would one shot you and that was a huge deal okay so in this video since we already talked about uh, the upcoming difficulties that we have for uh, the gamma rights why not uh, talking about each of the teams that we could uh, tier craft in order of using and also possible reworks that uh, we will have uh, in the near future because the gamma raid is all over the place in terms of tags and that's going to be huge because many of these tags don't have a viable solutions. So let's take a look into that. So first off, we have Brotherhood and Shield. So now let's jump into msf.gg and see what we have of Brotherhood. So first off, do we have a team here? No, none of these characters have been like decent for a very long time, two or three years. Only Magneto got reworked recently, but it's on the Dead Sea team and there is not Dead Sea over here. Now let's take a look in terms of shield characters and i think the shield is the one more likely to get a rework from the rumors that we have with mockingbird and also some skill rework so let's see can we see that come on plan i'm clearing all the buffs clearing yes thank you okay shield oh my god uh, shield and he puts brotherhood seriously what what is this <laughs> oh my god shield clear all filters Damn, this, this website, like, it was so good in the past, and uh, and now it's not good anymore. Okay, let's try again. Shield, shield, shield. Can we get shield? Ah, okay, shield. Okay, there you go. So, shield, do we have any good characters here? So, we have Captain America that uh, was reworked recently, part of the rework team. We also have Mary Hill that is part of the Secret Avengers, and uh, that's it. Those are the only two characters that we have available. So, should you put Captain America and Mary Hill together with Magneto? Probably not. Uh, but... Uh, 
there are rumors that maybe Hawkeye is going, to, is going to get a rework, and why not make Black Widow also have a rework? Because Hawkeye and Black Widow they have a lot of synergies, and the Black Widow could also help the Secret Avengers because they're not like the fastest team ever. They have that boost from Captain Sam, but it's not a big deal. So having these two characters reworked together with Mary Hill and Captain America would be very very nice. Then we could complement it with Quake or with Nick Fury. That would be nice as well, and that would be much better than the options we have for the Brotherhood. Okay, so let's take a look at the other tags that we have available. So we have Aim and Shield, and on the boss it requires Aim, Brotherhood, and Shield. Now, I really expect Aim to get a rework sooner because of the movie, where uh, Modoc is going to show up, of course but uh, also because it was a fun team in the past and uh, we want more fun teams no i think it was a super fun team and uh, once again the website is not working because this is a shit and it has to piss me off because yeah of course not <sighs> clear all filters clear all filters kill clear everything can we get like uh, something aim no clear all filters can we clear all filters and now it opens Absorbing Man again, nice. Uh, aim, uh, yay, there we go. Okay, so here we go, we have Aim once again. And uh, Scientist Supreme was used for raids for a short period of time. But we have uh, tech characters, we have skill characters, we have many options here. We have also bio characters. If we have Modoc, I expect him to be a tech character. And uh, of course, that's going to be a great team, but we really need some additional characters to show up otherwise uh, it doesn't make uh, like we don't have many options available we cannot clear these nodes with just brotherhood so we need something other than that and uh, that's a good thing it's nice that they are increasing the difficulty in terms of the raids making this new raid available and at the same time that opens the opportunity to rework uh, old uh, teams that were not so great in the past uh, and also bring uh, new characters to the game uh, with uh, easy justification okay so let's see what other tags do we have so we still have aim and shield on this side we still have aim and shield did they increase the tags no okay so this is still the first line then we have uh, defenders hydra and heroes for hire defenders hydra and heroes for hire and we also have mercenaries so that's a lot of teams that don't have any kind of rework for a long time so let's see if we can open this properly this time so defenders let's take a look at daredevil then we have mercenaries where we have taskmaster taskmaster is down here we also have hydra and uh, we also have uh, Taskmaster. So let's open like this because clearly these filters are not working properly. So we could look for a mercenary something. Okay, mercenary LT. There we go. Super easy, super easy. So in terms of the fenders, Jessica Jones got reworked a, li a little bit. Uh, she's okay. She's not amazing. But uh, we don't have a team here. Now, we could make a hybrid between uh, Defenders and Heroes for Hire with Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and uh, Shang-Chi. But uh, what else? Should we bring Colin Wing? Should we bring Mas um, Misty Knight? I think that would be an interesting team. But the biggest problem is that this team outside of Alliance Wars is not that great. I mentioned this before. If the team does not hold the stats outside of the specific game mode it's not a good team and this is the case for this specific team the heroes for hire they just don't hold up the stats it's not like the defenders are much better the defenders are exactly the same trash and uh, that's why this is not going to be like good teams to to invest in now in terms of hydra in terms of hydra there is the rumor that uh, madame viper is gonna come to the game like there has been these rumors have been around for like two years uh, and we have not seen anything maybe the character is already developed they are just waiting for the best occasion to release the character but now with winter soldier getting a rework we could see something like that what i find like interesting is that they didn't change any of the tags because now we could have like avengers and hydra and you could use uh, captain america together with winter soldier unfortunately it's not the case so 
makes things a little bit harder and uh, of course the whales are gonna love this because they have all these characters maxed out but uh, for us the normal people this is gonna, not gonna be super super easy and uh, the in, in in the upcoming days and months or weeks we have to start the theory crafting which are going to be the best teams in order to beat these nodes because the rewards are just huge really really huge now in terms of the mercenaries unfortunately we don't have great mercenaries either we have uh, Merc Riot Guard, Merc LT, like they have decent kits, but the starts are just beyond trash. And overall, they don't have like a solid team. Uh, they don't even have Kingpin, which Kingpin summons them, but uh, yeah, for some reason, they don't have uh, synergies beyond that. And uh, so that's for the mercenaries. So let's take a look at what else we have. And we have some additional tags here that I find very interesting. So Wakanda, Wakanda I, I don't need to show you. We know which Wakanda we have available. And Wakanda is definitely going to be an easy lane. Then we have Guardians, Mercenaries, and X-Men. Now, in terms of X-Men, we could also see some uh, good teams right now. We could make uh, a hybrid between uh, the Astonishing X-Men and also the other X-Men that we have in the game. So we have uh, Beast is uncanny as well. We have uh, also Rogue and Gambit. So overall we could make uh, improved Astonishing X-Men team with Gambit for that additional health because once again, the stats of the enemies, especially on difficulty 5, are going to be insane and it's very very likely that they are going to be able to one-shot you. So, X-Men is not a huge deal. Once again, we have the mercenaries, we have the guardians. So, in terms of guardians, oh man, that's another one. That's another one that really needs a rework. And uh, once again, the rumors have been around that the guardians rework is coming, but which characters? Like Mantis? like uh, Drax, like uh, <laughs> Groot maybe, maybe Groot is gonna have, uh, whenever this character is attacked, applies offense down to the enemies. So it's gonna be like a huge change to rework these characters and make them like raid viable. The, the amount or the size of the reworks have to be really, really huge. And uh, yeah, I could totally see, especially since some of these characters are also required for the Noir Heist event, uh, it would be way nicer because it would justify their investment a lot uh, better. So let's see what else do we have. Brotherhood, Mercenary, more uh, X-Men, Wakanda, Shield, Defenders, okay. Let's see what else we have. So at the beginning of the nodes, we have Wakanda, Pimtech, and then we have Kree and Pimtech. So this is going to be a big deal because Wakanda, yes, we already know that they work fine, but on the other line, we have Kree and Pimtech. So that means or Pimtech gets reworked or Kree gets reworked. And uh, I would be excited for either of them to be reworked, but the rumors that we have right now, and especially based on the movie, is that on the next patch, the Pimtech is going to have a rework and is going to make them Cosmic Crucible viable. Uh, hopefully that will extend also for uh, other game modes, the, the buffs and the stats, for example, if Ghost applies offense down to all characters in uh, different game modes like Dark Dimension and Raids and Cosmic Crucible, that would be great, but uh, at the same time, like, uh, or they bring new characters for the PIM tech, or we are really going to struggle to do these upcoming nodes, because yes, they have that dodge mechanic, but uh, the enemies they remove those dodges so fast is just unreliable, and their stats, their stats are just so mediocre that they they need a really, really massive rework, similar to what Wakanda had, if not higher. So you can see right here, 300,000, and like Wakanda, they have like 800, 900,000, so it's like triple of the stats, and that's going to be huge. Now, in terms of the Kree, the Kree, they had a rework back in the day, but uh, like three years ago. They were decent for like a month or so, and we have so many Kree characters, so it would be nice to get a team out of here. We have Filevel, which is okay at this point in time. The, the stats are not holding off as much as like 60% of the new character stats. And then we have Ultimus and Minerva that could be good characters for a, a situation like this, but, uh, but let's be honest, like the characters are just too slow, and the kids need a lot, really a lot of improvement. 
improvements in order to be viable for this kind of scenarios. Once again, like the stats that we are taking a look at here, the stats are huge. The stats are really ridiculous. 750% more health and 1,500% more damage. That's like pretty much ridiculous. Uh, and uh, you can see like, once again, this is triple of what we have right now and it's definitely going to be difficult so it's going to be important that this team has a rework especially because we cannot heal in these gamma raids if people forgot about it like yes i know it's easy but you cannot heal up or revive characters on this one so if you fail if your characters are not strong enough then you're going to get stuck and all your alliance is going to be angry at you Okay, so beyond that, do we have some additional tags? We already talked about Pimtech, we already talked about Kree, we already talked about the Guardians. We also have the Avengers, but I think the Avengers, it doesn't really matter because there are so many characters that are Avengers right now. So it's not like a, a problematic tag. So we have the Vision, we have the Young Avengers, we have Hulkbuster, Bionic Avengers, we have Secret Avengers, we have Rebirth Avengers, we have Wave 1 Avengers, so we have many characters on this specific tag, so this is not going to be a problem as well. So finally, the last characters we have is Spider-Verse, Guardians and Kree. Kree already talked about the Guardians we already talked about. In terms of Spider-Verse, you know what that means. That means Tangled Web. No, it doesn't mean Tangled Web. It means the maybe Web Warriors, maybe Sinister Six, because why not? You also need Sinister Six for the beta. So it would be a great occasion to rework the Sinister Six not to just to use the web warriors and so on but uh, yeah the web warriors they were a great team but they lost so much value and once again with this increase in stats with triple of the damage and resistance and so on i think the web warriors they're gonna be one shot like they are on doom 3.5 so it would be a lot better to rely on characters like spider weaver and spider-man 2099 to really speed up uh, your ray team and uh, make sure that the enemies cannot attack you thanks to the reduced accuracy beyond that i do not expect any kind of symbiote rework or web warriors rework it's way more likely to have a rework to the sinister six dr octopus and maybe use kingpin together with them and make a, like a super powerful hybrid team to complete these last nodes because yeah the web warriors the symbiotes all of these, the Spider-Verse is going to be required for the last nodes. And these last nodes, they can be really, really tough. Especially when you take a look at the enemies. There is a lot of heal blocks, there is the blinds. There is some big damage coming out of these enemies. And uh, yeah, this is going to be definitely painful. And I'm very excited to try out these new raids. Hopefully my alliance will start uh, the next one with the difficulty 4. And uh, then uh, in the upcoming days, hopefully we'll be able to do difficulty 5. But this looks very, very interesting. And once again, I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what kind of reworks we have coming next patches. I would really like to see Pimtech rework. I would really like to see a Kree rework. Mercenaries, I think we can wait a little bit more for a, re a rework for them. And either, like, maybe, I guess, but, like, uh, leave that for summer or something like that because... Uh, we won't want uh, any dry either around here, at least for now. So yeah, guys, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, big hype about the Gamma Raids in new difficulties. And uh, the exciting rewards like Gear T17 out of these orbs. Plus a ton of additional gold that uh, is going to help us, hopefully, getting our characters to level 95. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And if you found the video helpful, make sure to share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content, and I will catch you guys later.